Hello Sagittarius, how's it going? I hope you are very, very well. Um, my name is Diane and this is Madame Butterfly Tarot. And we're going to do a general reading for April, but you know, it's a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to find this is when it was meant for you, you know. Um, you're very welcome here, Sag. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me at all, I would appreciate that very much as well. Oh, cool. So you have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which is the heart chakra, and you have man holding a heart. <laughs> so, is that focused? It's kind of focused. It's so bright in here today, it's awesome. Not so great for the camera. <laughs> I think it gets upset when it's super bright. It's like, what's happening? What is this, daylight? What's going on? Sunshine? So, um, yeah, it's looking like you have some kind of romantic thing coming in here. So whoever this person is coming towards you, and obviously, you know, if you deal with women, this is like, just replace that with woman holding a heart. But this is gonna be a very, heart-based relationship, like a very heart chakra-based relationship. So you may even find it to be kind of triggering because <laughs> um, often when, you know, it's like a very loving, caring relationship like that, it can also be very triggering. Okay, anything else from this deck? No? Okay, moving on. Um, <clears throat> Let's see what you've got in the tarot. Oh, the chariot, wow. So I go forward with confidence. That's always a good card. Okay, let's see what else you got. Okay, the six of cups is wanting to come out here. Okay, what else for Sag? What else for Sagittarius? You have the Knight of Pentacles. I deserve financial security. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. Right, clarify this uh, heart chakra. The Eight of Swords, okay, so there's a little, <laughs> um, there may be like little blockages around uh, the heart chakra here, like this could be you or this could be your person that you're dealing with. Um, the Eight of Swords talks about holding yourself back, you know, self-imposed limitations. So there's something about this connection coming in here, or maybe you're already dealing with it, but there's it's gonna help to remove blockages around the heart chakra. Um, so usually when you have a blockage in the heart chakra, it manifests itself as like not feeling worthy of unconditional love, um, you know, feeling like you have to prove yourself, all that type of shit. Because uh, the heart chakra is kind of like the brain of the chakra system, so it's like we're, you know, all the grief and the heartache is stored, so if you've had bad experiences in the past, it kind of gets stored there, so there's like walls being removed from this connection. You have the Empress, I'm just going to reshuffle, <laughs> um, clarify this man holding a heart. Whoa. The Empress, okay, that's who wanted to come out before. So you had the man holding a heart and you have the Empress. So this is either someone coming towards you, seeing you as the Empress or vice versa, like you're going towards someone seeing them as the Empress. Um, so this is a beautiful energy. I'm gonna to talk to you like you're the Empress, okay? But you switch it around as you will. The Empress is like a very awesome energy to be in because it's an energy of being receptive and being calm, feeling like you deserve love, not chasing. Um, being in an energy of like, you know, looking after your health, looking after your appearance, all this kind of thing. And, you know, once you get into that type of energy, things just sort of naturally flow to you. Um, if this is someone that you're dealing with, the Empress is usually like, uh, they usually, you know, it's the mother of the deck, so 
like they're very nurturing um the, you know it's like a um, very calm loving kind of you know energy just yeah so clarify the chariot clarify the chariot okay so there's maybe been some blocks in this connection which are about to be removed or which are being removed there we go the ten of cups wow oh my gosh that's an awesome combination you have the chariot with the ten of cups this is a nice reading so um the chariot talks about overcoming obstacles uh, i go forward with confidence it actually talks about things moving quite fast um and then you have the ten of cups i have all i wish for in my relationship so yeah there's just like a little bit of you know cleansing of the heart chakra going on at the moment but you guys are going to be very happy together whoever this is this is someone that has the capacity to make you very happy like the ten of cups is emotional fulfillment um committed relationships you know just someone that makes you happy starting a family with someone that's all ten of cups energy tell me about the six of cups <laughs> Okay, there's a little bit of anxiety surrounding this Six of Cups, which is past stuff. All right, you got the Six of Cups and the Five of, ooh, <laughs> okay. The Five of Wands with the Seven of Wands. So something, you know, I'm gonna talk about this like it's you, okay? But it could be your person, you just take it as it resonates. But, um, and equally, it could be both of you, you might be mirroring each other. There's been like a little bit of chaos in the past with the five of wands, things being very up in the air, not not with this person necessarily, it could be. I don't know if it's someone new or someone from the past, but um, the six of cups is like childhood, things from the past, the five of wands is chaos. And then you have the seven of wands here, which talks about being defensive. Um, clarify this knight of pentacles. Hierophant, <clears throat> I am ready to love and learn. You could be dealing with an earth sign here because you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So this is something that's going to be very stable. The Hierophant talks about committed relationships. It talks about marriage. Um, I also feel like this is someone, you guys are going to learn a lot from each other with the Hierophant. So it might be slow moving this connection but the Knight of Pentacles, like I said, it's something very stable. There's an energy of moving past um, defensiveness because someone here has been very hurt in the past. <laughs> See, I'm looking at here, I'm looking at the Nine of Wands, which talks about the wounded warrior, and then the Queen of Swords, which, I mean, you can see, right? This is like <laughs> someone who's, you know, guarded and like ready to fight okay but um and you know you have the hermit here as well so there could have been you know someone's been single for a while or they've been in hermit mode or something like that uh this is why the walls are needing to come down which is what's going on at the moment right okay so um let's see Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So it looks like this is someone new you're dealing with when you have the Page of Cups. Excuse me, it usually represents someone new. It will feel a little too good to be true though <laughs> when you have the Seven of Cups. Because also the thing is with the Seven of Cups, like in the middle, that's the, the new love, right? But then if you look at the other cups, there's like snakes and dragons and shit like that in there, right? So this is always my card for someone that, you know, maybe the, 
you know, you've had some shitty relationships in the past, like maybe, you know, there's been like snakes and dragons and things and now you're a bit like, hmm, I don't know about this new person because <laughs> this guy looks really suspicious. You know, this is someone that's like, well, I, you know, I'm just going to keep my pentacle for now. Like, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to give my pentacle away just, just yet. I'm just going to make sure this is absolutely not a psycho <laughs> before I move on, before I move forward with this. Tell me about the chariot. The nine of pentacles. So there's something here about confidence as well because you have, you know, the nine of pentacles talks about self-worth. Something will happen quite suddenly, I think, or this person will come into your life quite suddenly. There's an offer that comes in here quite suddenly, but it involves someone moving into this Nine of Pentacles energy where they're feeling confident, like they're feeling worthy. That's when this offer comes in. And I feel like when that point is reached, the offer actually comes in like quite fast or you meet the person like out of the blue. You know what I mean? Um, Cause there may even be a little bit of kind of subconsciously fighting it. You know what I mean? Cause the thing is, that's why they're highlighting the, the heart chakra. Cause this is a um, unconditional love. When you're dealing with a heart chakra based connection, this is like unconditional love. So, you know, if you've never had that um, or that's been sparse, then it's something you kind of have to get used to and it can be very triggering. You know what I mean? Tell me about this. Um, oh, look, you have the Queen of Swords with the world and the Three of Swords. So this can be a couple of things. Either you can be the Queen of Swords because you had your heart broken in the past or you've had it broken multiple times. Um, with the three of swords and then the world is like an ending to that like no longer being in this queen of swords energy where you feel like you have to protect yourself this can also be you might have had dealings with a queen of swords energy in the past who broke your heart um that you've closed down a cycle with and you've been healing from like the queen of swords energy in that capacity is not fun because it talks about someone you know like withholding of love um like kind of sharp tongues, you know, just not, not fun energy. <laughs> Tell me about this. Oh, there's something here about being left out in the cold. So if someone was left out in the cold before. Oh, okay. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Kind of feels like someone <laughs> just wants to make absolutely sure. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, someone here just wants to make absolutely sure. See, the, the doubt could be on both sides. Like, maybe you guys have both had, like, tons of shit relationships, and now you're like, I just don't believe it. Like, I want to, you know, yeah, not falling for that shit again. <laughs> um, so, but there's an ending to this. Like, if, if so... This is, I'm guessing, you that's moving into this confidence energy, but you, you know, be who you want to be in this reading. But if you're waiting for someone to make you an offer and it's like moving very slowly, um, someone's just getting out of this energy of like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if you're kosher. I'm just going to see, okay? Someone's just being kind of guarded. But they won't be for very long because you have the Page of Cups here, which is... Um, See, as well, see with the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups, um, oh, there's a couple of things there, okay. In the past, either you or your person may have, you know, had a tendency to be, I don't want to say naive, but maybe like too open, <laughs> you know, with like wearing your heart on your sleeve kind of thing, which is how you should be, but unfortunately, it doesn't go down like that on Earth because <laughs> people are harsh, but um you know, you may feel like you've been too open in the past and you got burned, so now like you're more suspicious and you just want to make sure. 
like I said, this person is not a psycho before you move forward. Um, but also with the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups, now this could be on both sides or one side, but <coughs> there could be something about childhood. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my throat just totally blocked up there. <laughs> so there could be some kind of chaos or something like that from childhood that's also being worked through. Tell me about the Hierophant. Well, there you go. Okay, so it's a slow moving connection, but you have the Hierophant with the Two of Cups. So, you know, like I said, the Hierophant's, um, you know, committed relationships like marriage, the Two of Cups is soulmate energy, best friends as well. It often indicates past lives. Um, so you guys might even have past life connections. Tell me about this person coming in. In fact, you know what we'll do? I'm going to go into a different deck. this person coming in for Sag. Ooh, the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about this person coming in for Sag. You have the King of Wands, so you could be dealing with another fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this I see the Ace of Cups here as well. Okay, so this is someone new. Um, this person could be super busy. Like when you have the Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Uh, yeah, this is someone that has a lot going on. Like they have a lot of projects going on or they have a lot of responsibilities. They could even work two jobs. Um, the King of Wands, obviously this could be a woman as well. But could be, like I said, could be a fire sign or they can just present that way. But, you know, usually very charming, very good looking. They're usually in some kind of leadership position. So like being a boss at work or owning a company, they usually get a lot of attention. So it could be someone that's on stage or like on the radio. I don't know why I said that. I don't usually say that. Um, or like on a podcast or something like that. Usually, I think I said like very good looking um, very passionate it's a fire sign but you know the king of wands is actually someone very stable like the knight of wands is not stable but the king is very stable so this is someone that's looking for like a real relationship they might like to travel king of wands energy usually likes to you know explore and travel um usually very successful you have the star here as well. That's interesting. I was just about to say um, they could even be like well known for what it is they do, like whatever it is they do. They, they could be like a leader in their field or they're well known for it or something like that. Um, the King of Wands is usually an excellent speaker as well. So with the star, yeah, they, they could be well known for what they do. But you have the Ace of Cups and the star. So this is like a wish fulfillment, this person coming in someone new um, and with the star like it's also a very healing energy so I actually want to put that down on top of all this Queen of Swords heartbreak being out in the cold energy over here so I actually feel like this is a person that's they're just going to be very healing for you and they kind of they come at the end of a tough cycle for you where you were left out in the cold or you were heartbroken or you were dealing with this Queen of Swords energy. Okay. Um, what else about this person coming towards Sag? The King of Cups. That is a really sweet combination. And look, you have the Knight of Cups trying to come out. So that was going to be my next question. Like, what's, what action is going to be taken here? So... 
You have the King of Cups here as well. So this could also be a Libra or Cancer Scorpio Pisces. That's a really nice combination when you have those two. Um, because it, the King of Cups energy is like, like it softens the fire, you know, so you have both. You have someone that's, you know, very like passionate, very driven, very focused, very fiery, like fun to be around, but you also have the King of Cups that's, you know, in touch with their emotions, but not ruled by them, like they're not reactionary. Um, they're very calm. They've usually done a lot of shadow work, someone that you can trust. They could be very creative as well, or they could be very spiritual. They could work in healthcare. They could work for a charity, all this kind of stuff. But whatever it is they do, I would say they're, you know, it's like they're the boss because the King of Wands came out first. Um, so they, yeah, that could be like their predominant energy, but they're very sweet. And you have the, not that the <laughs> King of Wands is not sweet, but the King of Cups is very sweet, like very polite and, you know, if you're dealing with a man, like chivalrous, like all that, all that shit. <laughs> and you have the Knight of Cups here, so there's, yeah, this is someone coming in to like, you know, ask you out, sweep you off your feet. Uh, the Knight of Cups is committed romantic relationships. This person will probably make you nervous as well. Um, I would say with the King of Wands energy, they will almost certainly make you nervous. And you have the death card here, which is peace in this deck, which I really like that. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So they're saying, yeah, whatever this was that sucked in the past, this like brutal ending that you had with someone or it was a tricky ending, you can let that go. Like you can trust this. Like you don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to be suspicious. Um, you, you know, you, you can trust this person. You also have the five of wands here. So you may have a lot of experience with chaos in your past because the five of wands has come out twice. Um, so you, that could be many things. Like it could be your childhood or, you know, that could be something you just had a lot of ex experience with, like things being very up in the air or a lot of chaos, something like this. But that part of your life is coming to an end. And they're also saying have patience with yourself during this process, okay? Um, because you're, you're releasing a lot of stuff so that you guys can come together. And you have the High Priestess. So if you're feeling, there's a couple of messages here. So there is a message here, like if you resonate with having like a chaotic background, or things have been very chaotic for you and you haven't had a lot of stability, it's probably not gonna make you feel better. <laughs> but with the high priestess, there's, it was kind of done to move you into this high priestess energy. So I don't know how much you dabble <laughs> in spirituality, you know, um, but when the high priestess comes out, it means that you're very, you know, intuitive, like you're very psychic, your third eye will be very open. Um, you know, you're a channel. <clears throat> it may not feel like it, but you've gained a lot of wisdom through the chaos that you've been through. And it's put you into this high priestess energy. Um, also, they're saying, you know, because you are so intuitive, like if you're feeling a bit uncertain about this or you're questioning it, you can, you know, sit with spirit and use your intuition about it because you'll be able to see through the bullshit because that's another thing about your third eye like when it opens you start to see through all the bullshit and you'll see that this is kosher you know so those are your messages Sag uh, I am going to do a quick extended reading I don't know how long it's going to be but kind of just uh, fluffy for fun so I'm going to get some advice cards for you in the extended just about life in general to see if there's anything we want to tell you um, but we're gonna get some characteristics about this person coming in. We'll get some messages from them and like, yeah, that, that sort of, sorry, my camera cut out, Sag. Um, all European cameras do that, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's a thing that people in other countries have, but like they, they only record for like 25 minutes or something. 
Yay! <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, if you want to watch the extended reading, the, there should be a join button underneath the video, but if that's not there, because on some devices it's not there for some reason, uh, if you go down to the description box, there'll be, you can join there, there's a link to join. So if I see you over there, awesome, looking forward to it, but if not, thank you for watching the reading, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me. And as always, I wish you many blessings, uh, love and light. Take care.